The unresponsive unified communication module can be brought back to life with a full module reinstall. This video shows the step in reinstall process. Please note that the complete reinstallation takes at least 45 minutes. To perform reinstall, you will need a USB memory device. I will be using a 4 gig one. To prepare this memory device, you will also need to download USB initiator and ISO image of the UCM from the support.avaya.com. From avaya.com, I can go to support and download a document, IP office. I'm using release 8.1. and enter. I'm looking for unified communication files. In my case that's the later one. And in here I need to do download USB initiator and full installation image. After completing the download, and I've used the directory UCM underscore 8 underscore 1, which is a temporary directory which could be removed after the installation is complete, I will be extracting the USB initiator, and that takes a few minutes. In extracted folder, I select setup. next, next, and install, which also takes a few minutes. After successful installation, I'm ready to prepare my USB device. So I go to Start, Programs, IP Office, and at the bottom you see Model USB Initiator. In here I select Target Device, Install, and Recreate Image, and press Create USB Installer. The recreate image will actually reload all the files on the USB instead of just adding the missing ones. Just to be safe, I choose recreate image. Now my USB is ready to be used as a bootable USB. The only thing missing is to add ISO image. So I'm going to my memory device, select C110 ISO folder and this is where I'm going to copy my UCM ISO image. After completing our copy, our USB device is ready. So let's just check that we have it. And yes, ISO image is there. Uh, just a note that there should only be one ISO file in this directory in C110 ISO directory. Let's safely eject uh, our USB. Just a note that uh, the bootable USB device can be created using Linux OS. Uh, for the instructions how to do it, please refer to the Unified Communications Module Installation and Maintenance Manual. Now let's turn to hardware. On the running IP Office system with the Unified Communication Module, remove the protective cover and install the prepared USB memory device. Press and hold the top button until the bottom LED starts to flash green to shut down the card. The shutdown is complete when all LEDs are off except the amber wink every 5 seconds on the bottom LED. To restart, hold the top button. During the card startup, the top two LEDs turn amber and we continue to hold until these LEDs turn off. After waiting for one minute, the top two LEDs will interchangeably flash green. This indicates the start of the reinstall process, which takes approximately 45 minutes. After the top two LEDs stop flashing, wait for another two minutes for the USB activity to stop. After that, it is safe to remove the USB memory device and replace the protective cover. After full reinstall, the unified communication module will require full reinitialization via initialization wizard. 